Welcome to Magic Info Services. In this video, I will show you how to lock an element in order to have it always there in your template and to ensure that no one else can change or edit your locked element. So for this, I've logged in as my administrator. As you can see, I'm the administrator right now, and I'm first going to create a template in the web author. So I will open the web author and click on create and I will select a template that I want to use. Um, I want to add some content, for example, this image. And I want to make sure that this image is locked and cannot be removed or added. So in here you see this little lock icon and if you click on it, you have multiple options. Um, the first option is to only change the size and position. The second one is the change the flip, the crop, the transparency, uh, and stuff like that, all related to the design. And the last one is the lock of the content, so changing of the complete file. And if you click on the very first option, all options will be selected automatically. And I want to insert this image as well. Let's say, make it a bit smaller, making sure it's aligned and lock it. Now I want to save this file. So I want to save it as, um, for example, the name of the virus um, for some health instructions. Now it's saved right now and I can close this window. Um, and if I refresh the content page, you can see my LFD file is in here. Now, since I'm currently logged in as an administrator, um, the use of locking elements is for other users to not edit those elements and not being able to make major adjustments. So what I'm gonna do now is gonna, I'm gonna log out and I'm gonna log in as a content user. So this is me logged in as a content user. Um, yeah, as you can see on the left hand side, I have way limited settings compared to an admin. My specific role is a content uploader. So I can upload content and I can create a playlist. And if I go to the LFD file that I just created and I'm gonna click on edit, it will open the web author as well. And if I want to remove this file, you can see that I'm not able to do so. However, I am able to add content to this. For example, I want to add some text. So as you can see, this is all possible. Um, adding files is not a problem. However, you cannot edit or delete the files that are already there. So this is basically how to log items. Uh, and just to be sure, uh, if you do it as an admin, make sure there are other roles also signed to your business and to your account and that those roles have the right access. Now, how do you see that? We're going to close the web author and you have to log in as an admin again to see the, all the specific roles. So this is me logged in again as an admin. As you can see, all the options are again on the left hand side. And if I click on user, and if you click on role, you can see the this option, the content lock has to be switched off. So for example, if you click on a content manager, they have access to locking content items. So they will be able to fully adjust the LFD file that I created. And by, you can even create a custom role if you want. So right now the access is all free and you can decide what kind of access the person should have. And you can create, create a account for them as well with that specific role. Now more information about the roles can be seen in a different video, which I will link down below. And this is basically how to lock an item and how to provide users with the access on locking items and not being able to touch those items at all. Thanks for watching. <music>